Instead, we have to look at Jesus and we have to look at what Jesus says and what Jesus does because Jesus is making a new bloodline. Jesus is making a new bloodline. And if you sit at the feet of Jesus, if you come into the house of Jesus and sit at the feet of Jesus and receive the message of Jesus, you are in a new bloodline. You have a new identity that changes everything about you and redefines you completely. This is the power of the gospel of the message of Jesus. Now, if you're wrestling with this, well, actually, let me say this. Think about it. Let me illustrate it like this. Think of a powerful magnet. Let's say the magnet is the color yellow, just to pick a random color. And then a piece of iron. And let's say the iron is the color red. So we've got yellow and red. Just randomly pick those colors. Don't think too much about them. Think about a very powerful magnet. There's an invisible force that you cannot see with your eyes. Can you see a magnetic force under a microscope? Actually, is that true? Can you? I don't know if you can. I think you can, can you? I asked that question like I knew. Phew. You can't see it, but it is real and it is powerful and it will cling to that iron. And it is so powerful that over time, that iron will itself get magnetized and cling other things will better stick to it. That is an illustration of the identity that we have in Jesus. You cannot see it. The objects look completely different on the outside, but there is such a profound bond that is completely spiritual, completely invisible to the eye, but it bonds you together so much so that you're transformed by it that others can bond to you as well. Do we understand the message of Jesus? Do we understand what Jesus has come to teach us and what he's come to show us? Now, if we're struggling with this, some people will struggle with this kind of message. And I just want to say, if you're struggling with it, don't get angry with me. I'm just saying what Jesus said. His own mother, his own brother showed up and he's like, well, who is my mother and my brothers? Well, it's anyone who's going to obey the will of God. He said, I don't get mad with me. I didn't say it. He said it. So if we don't like it, if we're like, well, but we're denying people's cultures, or well, but, but, but what about people's racial identities? And what, what about all these ethnic things? And what are you saying about all these things? Don't get upset with me. If you don't like it, then you don't like Jesus. And that's your problem. You like something else. Maybe some ideas in the world are floating around your brain and have stolen the actual truth of Jesus from your heart that can actually give you life rather than locking you into judging people into the categories that the world wants to put on them. When you like and subscribe, this video reaches more people.